What is up you guys, Realistic Gaming here, and today we're going to be reacting to Max and Ruby 004 Because you guys have asked me for a couple of times to do this uh, reaction to it Since I did react to like the dead bar last episode not so long ago, which was pretty amazing, but scary. All right, so if you guys have any other last episodes or anything in between the lines, let me know in the comments below that you guys would want me to react to. But they gotta be scary, man, because scary things are just awesome. Wow. And also, guys, I will be streaming on Twitch tomorrow. As I said, I am taking my streaming a little more serious on there. So if you guys want to go ahead and join me up on the stream tomorrow, make sure to check out the description. The link will be there. For my twitch all right so before we begin with the video guys i'm gonna read the story because there is a story to the max and rubio uh the 004 episode so i'm gonna read the story so we could get a little more detailed in depth of what the whole thing is about and then after the story i will be showing the video so let's begin max and ruby 0004 it was just this christmas that went by and things were getting busy i had to start buying presents for the family i had finished shopping but I still needed to grab a present for my little cousin. She is not very hard to shop for since she is four. She likes things like Peppa Pig and My Little Pony. She really liked and I say liked for a reason, Max and Ruby. So when I decided to go looking for a present, I figured for something like a Max and Ruby DVD would have uh, been perfect since she liked to watch it on a daily basis. However, Christmas meant that the most of the online DVDs were sold out on most places. So I went on eBay as well, but I figured I could not trust what condition the disc would have been. So I was struck in for a rut for a while until the package arrived. I was home scrolling for a DVD until I heard the sound of something being pushed into my letterbox. I caught a hold of it before my dog did and looked at the package. It seemed to be wrapped fairly bad with what looked like grease marks and stains on it. It was a little reluctant to open it, but decided why not? Not like it'll bite. Inside was something that I could not explain. It was a Max and Ruby DVD, but I had not seen one like it online. It was something like a little kid had drawn on the front cover with the marker. The title was just Max and Ruby. With that looked like a poorly drawn illustration of Max and Ruby on the front. There were no names or anything, but on the back it had a list of episodes, all with blunt titles. Episode 0001 Episode 0002, Episode 0003, Episode 0004. I was wary too about the disc. It was apparent that someone, somehow, had tracked my browsing history while I was searching for a DVD for my cousin and traced it back to my house. After giving it much thought, I had figured it wouldn't hurt to give the DVD a watch over. The area where I live in usually is rather peaceful, but there is a police station about a block away. If I had turned out to a potential stalker problem, on my hands or some sort of prank, I could have just called the cops at my house in a matter of notice. To my surprise, the episodes were all high quality and seemed to have no flaws. It was as if it was a real DVD, just with a homemade cover. The only thing I thought was odd was the episode selection screen. The episode had names, but they were all called Max and Ruby, with just numbers being changed as it went down the list. The actual selection screen was just a plain white screen with a blank text with episode list and nothing else. I decided to change the cover to something a little nicer by printing out a DVD cover that I had found on Google and tracked down the names of episodes so they were labeled just right. I left the episode list screen alone because I figured it was self-explanatory. Christmas went by and things were fine. I gave my little cousin her DVD and she was just happy with it all through Christmas but that was only because she had not watched it yet. On Boxing Day, the family had gone up for a meal and left me to babysit my cousin. I was not too bothered and being left at home. I figured now was a good time to put on the DVD for her. I had put the disc in and let it play. While I was in the kitchen eating my dinner, from what I could hear, she had watched episodes one, two, three so far. I was just about to finish off my noodles when I heard my cousin screaming from the other room. Dropping everything, I had ran into the living room and saw my cousin curled up on the floor screaming. I had looked up at the TV and felt my heart in my throat. What I had caught a glimpse of, while not the most horrifying thing I'd ever seen, was pretty ghastly. It was what had appeared to be a frame of Max and Ruby standing next to each other in complete darkness, but what it seemed so horrible was their lack of faces. They had lost their noses and mouths, and their eyes were replaced with black holes. 
The colors were a myriad of black and dark reds, and the picture was slightly obscured by static. The sound was replaced of what I assumed was the Max and Ruby theme, albeit played backwards, and with the faint sound of satanic mix in all of it. Above the picture sat a caption that read, Death is our only release. After having gathered my wits, I quickly turned off the DVD player. I was able to calm my cousin down, telling her it was not real, and she had just had a nightmare as she had fallen asleep in front of the TV. However, I knew it was my mind. It was completely real. My parents had rang up on me and told me that they were going to be out all night, so this was going to be the best opportunity to look at this DVD more closely. I did not mention it to them. As soon as they were hung up, I grabbed the disc and stuck it into my laptop. As soon as it loaded, I selected Max and Ruby 0004. Since my cousin was now asleep, I plugged in my earbuds so she can sleep without having to hear anything. Normally an episode of Max and Ruby would have three short stories, but this episode only had one. It started off quite lighthearted. Max and Ruby were playing tag in the garden and a pair of older rabbits, I assume Max and Ruby's parents, were on the porch watching them play. Something was off. First, they were mentioned nor showed and Ruby's parents as far as I was aware that, however, was the least of my concerns. The sound was messed up and the look on their parents' faces suggested that they were forlorn. It panned to the mother and father, and in a voice of deep sorrow, the father spoke. It's such a shame, he sighed. It then cut to short to the sound of static and a loud scream, followed by the sound of two people choking. This sounded less like voice actors or someone pretend choking. It sounded as though it was an actual recording of two people being choked to death. This scene then switched to Max and Ruby standing in front of what looked like the gravestone labeled RIP mommy and daddy. The two of them have no faces at this point. There was also no sound apart from the faint static. This scene remained on the screen for about a minute and a half before it cut away into black. It then changed the scene again, now showing Max and Ruby sitting in Ruby's room. Both of them were sobbing once more. They sounded more like a recording of children actually crying than it did just a fake out. What happened next probably was the most disgusting thing I've witnessed in this video. The scene had changed to Max sitting in his room. He was standing on a chair with the noose hanging from a ceiling. He had brought it down around his neck. The scene was faded to black and the static got louder. Almost instantly, it then cut to Ruby walking in on her brother. The scene cut out to black with the loud static. When the screen returned, Ruby was standing now on her own in the garden by the two gravestones. One was labeled Rip Mommy and Daddy and the other Rip Brother. The screen had faded to black afterwards. At this point I had already been sick and was sitting all shaken. I could not help but wonder what kind of sick freak would make something like this. This episode seemed to have come to an end at last as the Max and Ruby theme song played over the regular end credits. I was about to eject the DVD when the same image came up like it did on the TV. This time, it had failed to scare me. I almost immediately returned to ejecting the disc. I sat there then trying to contemplate what had happened. It was obvious that this was fake and however tracked down my location made this to scare me. Or whoever else watched it. But why? Was this some sort of threat? Were they stalking me? I called the police down and explained everything. When they arrived, I showed them the episode, though they initially suspected that I had made this up to mess with them. They took the disc for further investigation anyway. Before they left, I found a note inside the disc case and that I hadn't noticed before. Death is our only release, it read. Needless to say, they took the note too. Before the police showed up, I kept a few screenshots and saved them to my laptop. The next couple of days went past without any unusual happening. I had a few mild nightmares about the video, but luckily that was all. My cousin had gone back home, along with the rest of my family. I have not had anything like this happen to me since, but I still think of this incident a lot. Wow, so as we can see, this the girl ordered like a DVD for her little niece or whatever, and like this crazy Max and Ruby DVD came up on the episode, or whatever, whatnot. So now let's just jump on to the... Uh, Let's jump on to the actual video of the Max and Ruby 004. All right, and here we go. Oh. So this is the episode 0004. As we can see, it is a bit weird, static and loud, as it mentioned. Oh look, that's the menu of the DVD. Okay. 
this is so creepy. So we're watching everything we just read, guys, from the story. <laughs> it's a shame. All right, so that's what they were talking about, the voice. Ow. <laughs> oh, like, oh, that's, wait, is that the parents? I think it is the parents with the brother's grave. Oh, man, this is getting kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's see what happens next. Oh my, oh no, that's, oh yeah, it said rip mommy and daddy on there. Um, uh, what? What am I watching? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh gosh, alright, that is pretty gory, man. They were getting axed uh, out. Burn in hell! What? No, you! Oh. Okay, that was creepy. Hey, no! Oh! Oh, that is so loud. Oh my god, look at her eyes. Wow. Dude, it looks like there's a face behind them. You see that, right? That is so creepy, man. What? Well, whoever's watching this, this is because you never watched of me, my brother's episodes. What? So, well, these days, you I can't hear what he's saying. He's speaking so low. All right, so that's it. Wow. All right. Death is our only release. Yo, that's how it ended in the story. My God. All right, so I couldn't really tell what he was saying. If you guys know what he was saying, let me know in the comments. Oh, look, there's the list of the DVDs. Oh, Gumball the Grievy. No, I already done that one. I don't think I actually reacted to the actual episode, but I played the game, which should be exactly like the episode, right? All right, so that was definitely creepy, man. Like, what in the heck did I just watch? I feel like I'm going to end up being cursed or something after watching that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, if you guys have any uh, more recommendations of any other last episodes or creepypasta reaction videos, let me know in the comments below. And tomorrow, like I said, it will be streaming on Twitch. So make sure to check out my link in the description so you can pop on by and say what's up to your boy while I'm streaming. So that's it for today. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the amazing support. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And I will see you guys in the next one.